Hindu texts dating from thousands of years ago seem to suggest that some kind of highly advanced weapon resembling an atomic bomb was set off on the earth some 12,000 of years ago. The Mahabharata and the Ramayana are Sanskrit epics thought to have been written in the 8th or 9th century BC and are accounts of the Kurukshetra war and the battle between Rama and the demon Ravana respectively. Could an atomic bomb have gone off on earth 12,000 years ago? Some of the passages from the Mahabharata suggesting a nuclear conflict, a single projectile charged with all the power in the universe, an incandescent column of smoke and flame as bright as 10,000 suns, rose in all its splendor, it was an unknown weapon, an iron thunderbolt, a gigantic messenger of death which reduced to ashes an entire race. The corpses were so burned as to be unrecognizable. Their hair and nails fell out, pottery broke without any apparent cause, and the birds turned white. After a few hours, all foodstuffs were infected. To escape from this fire, the soldiers threw themselves into the river. Nothing out of the ordinary in and of themselves since many religions have epic stories and poems mixing both periods of real historical events and fictional characters. Many of the descriptions of the battles within these texts speak of devastating weapons having the power of the sun and striking down huge areas of land. They also mention huge death tolls similar to those found with a nuclear weapon. Ordinarily once again nothing unusual as most historical stories tend to over-exaggerate the power of weapons and figures involved as well. Where this story becomes more interesting however is the discovery in the early 1990s of an area in Rajasthan that remains to this day highly irradiated. When ground was broken on a new housing development an ancient city and dangerous levels of radiation were discovered leading scientists to surmise that the area was hit by a nuclear weapon between 8,000 and 12,000 years ago, destroying the majority of the city and killing an estimated half million people. How the ancient Indian powers at the time developed nuclear weapons is a mystery although of course no records exist showing anything like the levels of technology needed to develop these kinds of weapons. There is also a mysterious crater near the Bombay area of India that defies explanation that could fit the bill as a possible detonation site for a nuclear weapon also. Kisari Mohan Ganguly said of the bodies found in the ancient city, they discovered skeletons scattered about the cities, many holding hands and sprawling in the streets as if some instant, horrible doom had killed its inhabitants. People were just lying, unburied, in the streets of the city. There seemed no one available to bury them afterward in ancient times there were no weapons capable of causing this kind of devastation. Certainly, nothing that would have left the dead unburied or left radiation thousands of years later. Nuclear weapons seem to fit the descriptions and evidence left behind.